Isaiah 61 verse 7 it says for your shame ye shall have double and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion therefore in their land they shall possess the devil the double everlasting joy shall be unto them today we look at a verse that you know any of you watch Joyce Myers or you know ever heard of her or anything I think she has a book out there that says something like double for your trouble and this is what the uh, book is based on I believe I never read it myself of course but you know I it just you know it, it coined a good phrase you know double for your trouble and the verse that's being spoken of you know that we're looking at today it's really good to go ahead and look at the whole you know chapter that you know the verses before and the verses after to understand that what we're talking about what the Lord is you know telling us is that as we do what we're supposed to be doing for the Lord we're gonna have trouble we're gonna run into problems you know we're gonna have shame people are gonna come against us people are going to you know say things against us people are gonna judge us you know all, all sorts of problems will come against us and not just from people either but even the devil himself will plant lies into our thoughts you know get us to doubt ourselves get us to doubt the Lord get us to think low of ourselves all sorts of problems and we need to just you know buck up trek on alright just you know don't let the troubles that we are going to go through affect us don't let them stop us from doing what we're supposed to be doing growing up and even today I face a whole lot of trouble I mean I have people come against me constantly and unfortunately the majority of them are Christians who don't want to accept what the Word of God says and they'll say things like I'm either being legalistic or I'm being hateful or I don't care about them I don't love them you know it, it reminds me of how a little kid will sit there and they'll get corrected and then they'll yell at their mom or their dad oh you hate me things like that or I hate you and you don't love me and things like that you know and it's kind of funny except that you know concerning spiritual matters it is very serious you know I mean it's a dire truth that we need to grow or else we're going to die we're gonna be cut off we're gonna be you know we're gonna face spiritual you know death if we don't grow <clears throat> we're gonna face that spiritual drought and starvation to the point where our spirit man is so frail and weak and that our flesh who we've been feeding and we've been strengthening and everything because we give into it all the time that can just step all over our spirit man and basically when I mean even though we're supposed to have our flesh crucified and dead and beneath our feet we have the other way around that <clears throat> we're living and walking by the, our flesh and our spirit man is under our feet which you know what that is spiritual death you had better be praying that you still make it into heaven because truth of the matter is you're not walking by according to the spirit you're walking according to the flesh and you're an enemy of God basically the Word of God warns us about that in Romans that how you know those that live according to the flesh they're enmity with God but the verse for today is reminding us that you know even though we may have trouble we're gonna have double for our trouble we're gonna have you know the blessings of God are gonna shine on us God does not sit there and turn his head again around you know and ignore what we're going through he sees what we're going through okay he sees what we're going through and as we are walking and doing what he tells us to do he's going to bless us and give us recompense recompense for that so you know all these people who say it's not worth it fine give up on the blessings of God that's your decision that's your choice 
But as for me, I will serve the Lord. I will do what God wants me to do. And if I get punched in the face, knocked down to the ground, kicked, spit on, whatever, I'm going to just get right back up. And I'm going to keep on doing what God wants me to do. If a brother or sister in Christ sits there and tells me that I'm doing something wrong, when I know that the Word of God says otherwise, and I know by my spirit, by my spirit bears witness, the Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit, and that, you know, I know that the Holy Spirit has led me to do this, then I, ha I have to do what God wants me to do. Even if it means losing friends, even if it means, you know, being told by my brother or by my sister that I'm wrong when they cannot show me in the Word of God that I am wrong. Then I need to do what God wants me to do. You know, a lot of people will say that, you know, I'm doing something wrong, but I always challenge them. All right, look, I don't care. If I'm doing something wrong, I want to be told. Okay, if I say something wrong in these videos, tell me. You know, because I'm not afraid of correction. And the way that I see correction is it's a way of robbing the devil of a tool that he can use against me. A tool, some kind of thing that he can get to hinder me in my walk with God. So I welcome correction. But it's got to be based on the Word of God. It's got to be based and found in the Word of God. Not just somebody's opinion, oh well, you hurt my feelings, so therefore you're wrong. No. Again, like I mentioned in past videos, you know, Jesus called people dogs, swine, snakes, hypocrites, you know, and, and it even says that his disciples came to him and said, don't you know that you offended the Pharisees? And then he's like, uh, you know, except your righteousness be better than the righteousness of the Pharisees, you're not going to have any part in the kingdom of God either. So, the only way that we can offend other people is in the truth. And we can't do it, uh, you know, be trying to offend people, no. We gotta do, teach the truth in love, but it's up to people to receive the truth. So, one of the things that we need to realize and remember is that as we work for the Lord, we're going to receive trouble, but we also need to realize that we can't go looking for trouble. We can't ask for trouble to come to us. And, you know, we can't basically go up, slap somebody upside the head, and then have them turn around, punch us, and cry out to God, Oh, God, save me from this trouble that I'm going through. Woe is me, and all that stuff. No, we can't do that. Word of God talks about how, you know, if we patiently endure the trouble that we go through for Christ's sake, then we're blessed. But if we patiently endure trouble that comes upon us because we asked for it, what good is it? There's, there's not any blessings that come to us because of that. We just need to deal with the consequences of our action. Okay? But we need to realize that as we sow righteousness into the world, as we, you know, do the things that God wants us to do, we're going to reap the benefits. We're going to reap the blessings of God that He's going to allow to come back to us. It would be like us telling somebody, teaching them how to, okay, how to fish, okay? We are basically blessing and sowing that into, planting that seed of how to fish and catch fish and everything into that, the life of whoever it is. And then what we're going to get back in return is thanks, you know, uh, that person will bless us with, you know, fish for us, our meals and our supper and everything. You know, it, it's a system of sowing and reaping here. And as we sow the Word of God into the lives of others, God is going to see to it that we will reap the fruit of our labor. The Word of God talks about that in 1 Timothy 5.18 which, you know, I want you to go ahead and look up and read. I put out a challenge in the last video that I had about how, you know, it, I challenged you to get with me in the post comments and everything like that below as to where a certain scripture was. And 
I didn't receive any uh, comments whatsoever. So kind of the challenge seems to have fallen on deaf ears or nobody took up that challenge. But you know what? The Lord knows that he, I mean, I know that the Lord told me to do these videos. And hey, maybe those who, after the rapture, will be eager to go ahead and watch these videos and to learn from them. That would be excellent. So I do these videos for the Lord. All right, so, but you who are watching this, if you actually want to grow in the Lord, go ahead and look up these scriptures, okay? I can't force you to go ahead and do anything because it's up to you and whether you want to grow in your relationship with God. But in 1 Timothy 5.18, it talks about how the laborer is worthy of the fruit of his labor. And it's the same thing, the ministers of God. You who minister the Word of God into the lives of others, the, you who walk and you do what you're supposed to be doing for the Lord, you walk in the calling of the Lord, you will, you are worthy of reaping what you have sown into the lives of other people. So you need to do what God wants you to do, not what you want to do, okay? You can't sit there and be about, be busy doing all these other things off to the left or to the right and then God wants you to go in the other direction and be doing these other things. You need to cast aside all these things that you know are basically robbing you of your time that could be spent on the things of God. The things that God actually called you to do. I was reading in the Word of God uh, this past week about how you know the Levites were carrying around the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and everything, and the king had to go ahead, and he was basically, it was just King Josiah, and he basically had to tell them, look, put, stop carrying the Ark everywhere that you go. It's taking up your time. You need to go put it in the house of the Lord that was built for it. Okay, you may be thinking that you're doing great by carrying around and having this be your burden and all that, but you need to go put it in the in the house of the Lord. And you need to be about doing what you are supposed to be doing, which is ministering unto the people of God and ministering unto the Lord. And in the same way, we need to stop being so busy doing all these things, even if we think they're good things. If God didn't call you to do it, you need to seek God, find out what you're supposed to be doing, what He's actually told you to do, and do that because time is short and we need to realize how important it is that we use our time wisely. In 1 Peter 4.14 4, it talks about how when we are reproached for doing the work of the Lord, those who reproach us, those who come against us and say all sorts of things against us, they think that you know the Lord is being reproached. You know, they clap their hands, woohoo, I put him down and all that stuff. I, I showed him, I showed them. When, you know what, the truth of the matter is, he's glorified. Okay? He is glorified on your part if you go ahead and do what the Lord has told you to do. It would be the same thing as, you know, uh, I can't even think of it. Uh, maybe these drug addicts this group of drug addicts, it would be the same thing as them reproaching you for staying clean. They think that they're uh, doing, you know, they're really putting you down and all that stuff, and when you're looking at them and they're like, I'm glad I'm not like you, I'm glad I'm clean. So thank you for calling me clean. It's the same thing when people reproach us and come against us because of the things of God. He's glorified on our part. We can go ahead and say, oh, thank you for that compliment. Thank you for telling me that I, I am a holy roller and everything, you know? Bible thumper. I find those things as compliments. Oh, you're weird. You're not like me. Thank you very much. I relish in the compliments that I do what God wants me to do. That I'm a Christian, that I'm different from everybody else, because that is what God has called us to be, is different. Different from the world, separate from the world. So, let's remember that. 
Let's remember that today and let's remember that every day that we need to get up and we need to start doing the things of God. And even if we have trouble that's going to be coming against us, even if we have all sorts of things coming against us, all sorts of people, whether they're Christians or not, don't let any of anything stop you. Start realizing that anything that is trying to hinder you, anything that comes against you, is from the devil. Okay, that basically, think of it as those people or those things are like tools. Tools of the trade that the devil is using to try to stop you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. So don't get, you know, offended and allow the devil to win by allowing these things to stop you. Alright, so we're going to call it quits right there and I'm going to try to do another one of these Bible studies again tomorrow. I'm going to try to pick them up again and start doing them daily. Uh, pray for me so that I can actually do these things. And just if you have any prayer requests, please comment below. Also, like this video, subscribe if you want to receive more, you know, you know, you want to know when these videos are coming out because, you know, <clears throat> it's a lot easier to receive these videos in your feed and in your email instead of having to check every day. So just go ahead and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And I'm also putting out uh, videos regarding the feasts of the Lord, the biblical feasts that God had told Jerusalem to do and his people to do. So you guys have an excellent day. Stay blessed and walk in the blessings of God. Know that you are blessed, okay? Because he blesses you. It's just important for you to actually know that you are blessed instead of wallowing in the circumstances that you are, are, are coming against you around the world. All right? So, you guys have an excellent day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Or I'll see you next time, okay? All right, stay in the Word of God. Don't wait just for these videos, but read the Word of God yourself and study and pray. Seek the Lord. In Jesus' name. Alright? So, I'll see you later. Bye. And thanks for watching. Alright? Thank you for watching these videos. I do appreciate the, you watching them. Okay? And I appreciate any encouraging words as well. And I appreciate your prayers. So, I'll see you all later. Bye.